Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to review and wear test the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and call it right now, friends. 2022 is going to be the year of powder foundations or like compact foundations. You know, L'Oreal just came out with their like tinted balm, whatever. I have a Bare Minerals powder foundation that I've been meaning to try, but I was very excited whenever I saw that e.l.f. came out with this powder foundation. I just love a good powder foundation. I really, really do. Like, I review a lot of liquid foundations, and I wear a lot of liquid foundations, of course, but on the days when I'm not trying to spend an hour and a half doing my makeup, when I just kind of want to throw something on and just keep myself from looking like the undead when I go to work, I pretty much always reach for my Fenty Beauty powder foundation. It's just so easy. I've already hit pan. I just take my sponge and just ba 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 and just like that you're blended out and ready to go. This is a really cute little compact, very elf, very sleek. So here's what it says on the box. Camouflage imperfections and even out skin tone with this primer infused talc free foundation. This lightweight powder is finely milled to provide long lasting and buildable coverage for an airbrushed finish. I got the shade Light 210N, which based on the pictures on the Ulta website is not the shade that I would have picked out for myself. It's described as just being light with neutral undertones, which in theory should work for me. But the picture of it looked quite yellow and quite, not quite deep, but like deeper than what I would want. And then this box is also just so anyways, we're about to find out if this shade is gonna work or if I'm just gonna have to abandon this video all together right now. Let's find out. Um, yeah, I don't know. Here it looks kind of yellow. Here it looks pretty neutral. There's really only one way to find out. So it does come with this little sponge in the back, but I also come with a sponge, just not in the back. So I'm just gonna use my sponge. It's slightly, ever so slightly damp, which is sometimes a problem with some powder foundations, but I'm gonna try it anyways. It doesn't really have a smell. Yeah, so definitely not my best shade match. I've kind of just put it on around my mouth. You can see it looks like I have a little bit of a beard, but I think that we're gonna be able to see this through. So I kind of like swiped and went down just like I would do with like my Fenty powder foundation. It definitely picked up more on my sponge than I do with my Fenty powder foundation and laid more, more down on my face, either that or it's just, better coverage than the Fenty powder foundation but yeah it's a little orange a little too deep for me but I think we can still make it work I think it'll be okay so I pretty much have this half of my face done this half of my face I've got it like a little bit here around my mouth but over my cheeks and over my forehead here and on this side of my nose I don't have any yet so without with obviously haven't done my neck yet either. At this point, I'm going to see the review through so that I can determine if I should buy a better shade for me. I just really love the convenience, the efficiency, the ease of use that a powder foundation has to offer. It's really handy. Okay, so I mean, it's a powder foundation. We're expecting it to have a powder-like finish, of course. It does look quite matte, quite powdery on my face, and that is kind of a disadvantage of powder foundations is that they tend to be matte, right? So it'll be interesting to see, of course, how this one wears. It looks fine right now. I mean, everything looks even now, everything looks smooth, everything looks matte. 
Should have shaved my mustache before I did the powder foundation. <laughs> it definitely builds, so I'm kind of like just building it up slightly in some places. And to say that it has buildable coverage, I would say it's pretty accurate. Like the coverage is building quite nicely. We'll have to see how that wears, because sometimes when you layer powders like that, it's too much, I don't know. So far, so good. My really only qualm with it at the moment is the shade, and that sucks. But otherwise, I look fine. So let me finish up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm not actually quite done with my makeup yet. I still need to put some lipstick on, but I've got this lipstick review that I'm going to film, so... We're gonna do this first because I kind of wanted you guys to see how the finish has sort of shifted over the last like hour or so. So you can see we're already getting kind of shiny over my chin and a little bit over my forehead, around my nose a little bit. Not a big deal. I often will set my Fenty powder foundation with some Kiko Milano perfecting powder. This is my old compact though that's like pretty much empty so i need to find my other one but i think i'm gonna go over it with some of my perfecting powder just to really help it control the oil but i just wanted y'all to see kind of that happening i'll check back in a little later on and we'll see how it wears and everything i'm very interested to see how this one goes but i am probably going to powder at least in my t-zone a little bit just like right through here with very very light easy breezy chill powder if you don't know about my kiko milano perfecting powder i won't get super into it because my regular subscribers are probably like girl we know about the dang kiko milano powder you don't have to tell us so anyways also i'm just feeling like a little orange i don't look super orange here but here <laughs> I feel like I look sun-kissed and tanned in the middle of winter. This powder does do a little bit of brightening work, so we'll see if it'll help me out in that way. That's literally all I'm gonna do. Just shoop right down that middle there where things tend to get really shiny. Otherwise, it's on its own and we're just gonna see how it goes. So wish me luck because I'm nervous. <laughs> my makeup as a whole, like I, I don't, it doesn't look bad or anything. I'm just not living for it today for various multiple ongoing <laughs> reasons. Put the sponge down, walk away from the makeup. I will be back to let you know how it goes. Oh, hey, hi. Okay, what's up? Welcome to the end of the day. So I've had my makeup on for about 10 hours now and I haven't really done a whole lot of anything today. I've just kind of been in the house working on stuff, watching TV. It's been a pretty mellow day and I haven't had to see a whole lot of people, which is probably a good thing given how shiny I look right now. I haven't really close up looked at my makeup just yet. We're about to, of course. But as I've like kind of caught myself in the mirror during the day, I've kind of noticed that it's starting to get just a little like melty looking in places. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, y'all can see how like shine city my forehead is down my nose and over my chin, really like right out here by my nose. My issue aside from the shininess though, is that my smile lines are like really like, I don't know if you can even tell on camera. No, you can't really tell. But my it's my smile lines are like really kind of cracked and starting to break up right here. Otherwise, I'm not really seeing it start to break up anywhere else. My main issue is just that it did not do a very good job containing the oil in my face, even after I like double powdered it. And again, I haven't really done anything today. So I haven't been outside in like the cold dryness. So who knows how that would have affected it. But basically this powder foundation did not do a better job than my Fenty Beauty powder foundation. So I'm pretty disappointed. I mean, <sighs> 
the shade too, we already knew was not a good match for me because every time, again, I sort of like would catch my reflection here and there as the day went on and I was like, ooh, orange. Oh, orange. Oh, there she is, just back from the beach. Nope, that's just her orange face. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad here on camera, but like in other lightings, ooh, it is not the shade for me. And I feel a little silly for having put it on my face today. Again, I didn't have to see a lot of people, so that's the plus side. I think it's like gonna be a pass for me. It's not bad, like application wise, it was fine. It actually offers like quite good coverage for like how much coverage it said it was gonna offer. It said like lightweight, buildable or something like that. I did find it to be pretty full coverage for a powder foundation. And I didn't love the finish like right after I put it on and it really settled into my skin quickly and started getting kind of shiny quickly. Hence why I went over it with my Kiko Milano powder and it didn't seem to help very much. Normally, if I go Fenty Beauty with Kiko Milano, I am squared away for the day. Elf did not hold up quite as well, unfortunately. And really their like CC Camo Cream wears a lot better on my skin than this powder foundation does. Kind of a bummer, kind of disappointed. You know, the good thing about e.l.f. though is that this was like $10, I think. So it didn't break the bank. I'm not completely just distraught. It's not like I bought a Chanel foundation that didn't work out. It was just e.l.f. But it's too bad because I would have loved a new favorite drugstore powder foundation. So I'm definitely gonna have to try more since this one didn't quite work out. I can recommend the Fenty one though. The Fenty one wears really nicely on my oily skin. And so if you ever doubted me always telling you I have oily skin, exhibit A, <laughs> there you go. There it is, nice and oily here and there. And we're just a little bit cracked up in my smile lines. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think about the Fen or the Elf powder foundation. Let me know what you guys think about the Fenty powder foundation too. What's your favorite powder foundation? I definitely feel like I'm gonna be getting into powder foundations this year. Also gonna be trying out the Bare Minerals like 16 hour something pressed powder foundation. So be looking for that one. Drop me a comment, say hello. Always love hearing from you guys. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video, okay? Okay. <laughs> Bye.